Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. And you may be asking, Joy, why are you sitting in your closet and why do you have a moving box behind you? So if you've been following me for a while, you might remember a few months ago, I did a challenge where I did a capsule wardrobe. And if you watched that video, you might know that I was not a fan of the capsule wardrobe. It just did not work for me. However, I have continued to sit on this idea that I want less clothes and I just can't figure out how to do this. And I think um, as my approaches a lot of times in life, I'm kind of an all or nothing person and the capsule wardrobe was like all and now having everything back is nothing. But I have been thinking about how there is an in-between. So what I've decided to do is to declutter my clothes ruthlessly, and I mean ruthlessly, and put whatever I'm decluttering in this box, but I'm not giving it away. I'm not getting rid of it. I am going to stick it in my attic space Yes, the attic space that I just recently cleaned, but it'll only be there temporarily. I haven't decided um, probably for about six months, I'm thinking, is an appropriate amount of time to determine if I go back in there to get anything out of the box. If I remember things that I have in the box and I want to go get them, I am going to allow myself to go get them. But I feel like this will be the in-between where I'm not decluttering them for good, I'm not giving them away, but I'm getting them out of the space for a while and not a capsule wardrobe sort of situation, but instead just getting rid of items that I know that I don't wear frequently. Even if I do wear them, I know I don't wear them frequently. That is the key. So come along with me as I declutter this space and I thought while I do this, I would share with you spaces around your home that you could declutter today to inspire you or encourage you to go to one of those spaces today and declutter, maybe even use this technique where you have a box that is going to go into quarantine, that's going to go away for a while, but you're not donating it quite yet. That way you can get a feel for if you really love and need those items. So let's get into it. By the way, I already do have a little pile of clothes going right there that that stuff is definitely going to just go. But I will the rest of the stuff put in this box to put away. Okay, so like I mentioned, I wanted to share with you areas in your home that you could declutter today. And I have 10 spaces to share with you. The first space I wanted to share with you to declutter is the closet, of course. The closet is a place where we have inflow, so we need to stay on top of the outflow as well. Determine if you have any clothes that are too big or too small, clothes that with holes or stains, and then evaluate if there are items that you don't frequently wear. 
The second space is your bedside table. This is a space that tends to accumulate extra items and things that belong in a different place. Maybe it's a water glass on your bedside table, medicine or a book you are done reading, or perhaps even trash. Speaking of medicine, the third space is the medicine cabinet. Go through and find all of the medication that has expired. This is a really easy way to eliminate items from this space. The makeup drawer or bathroom toiletries is another category of items you could declutter today. Sometimes we hold on to items even though we might not use them or like them. We may try a makeup product or a toiletry item once or twice and decide we don't really like it, but oftentimes it's hard to get rid of something because we paid money for it. But the truth is you can't get your money back by holding onto the item and it's just cluttering up your space. The fifth space that you could declutter today is your bookshelves. Oftentimes we don't get rid of a book after we have read it, but add it to our collection on our bookshelf instead. Some books are worth holding on to to read again or because it has sentimental value, but it can be easy to just allow books to accumulate over time. The sixth space you could declutter is the hall or front closet. This is typically where we keep all of our jackets, hats, and scarves, maybe even purses or backpacks. Going through the space at the end of a season makes sense. Maybe at the end of winter, you can evaluate which items you use that year. Or at the end of the school year, determine which bags or backpacks have been used. The seventh space you can declutter is kids toys. I miss having young kids sometimes, but I do not miss all of the toys. There is a constant flow of kids toys from holidays, birthdays, and fast food kids meal toys. It can be difficult to stay on top of keeping this space decluttered. I encourage people to include their kids in this process. Give them boundaries like a basket, a shelf with baskets, or a toy box, and then give them the autonomy to keep their favorite things that fit within those boundaries. The eighth space you can declutter is the pantry and the fridge or freezer. This is a space that really needs regular attention as there are constantly items coming in and going out of these spaces. While we are in the kitchen, another space to declutter is the utensil drawer. This is a space where we often have multiples of each item. It's good to evaluate how many spatulas or sets of measuring spoons you actually need. The 10th and final space that I wanted to share with you that you could declutter today is your home decor. I know for myself, I like to pay attention to which items I have been using each season throughout the year to determine what can go. Obviously, I'm not suggesting to tackle all of these spots in one day or even in one week, but I wanted to give you some ideas so you can choose one or two of these spaces to declutter from your home soon. Okay, last time I made a pass through my closet, this I was on the fence about and I was gonna put it in that box, but then I noticed there is a tiny hole. It is tiny, but holes grow and close. So I'm just gonna go ahead and totally get rid of this. You've got to get a hold of yourself.
Also, I do want to say that I decided not to deal with any of these winter items, the sweaters, sweatshirts, and also um, I keep all of my out of season shoes up in these boxes and I'm just not gonna worry about that for now. I'm just gonna focus on the clothes and shoes that are already out. Well, that is all I have for you in today's video. I hope it was motivational or inspirational to you in some way. I will share sometime soon my thoughts on this new system that I have set up and see what I actually keep and if I maybe even add to that pile that is in the attic. But thank you so much for watching until the end. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.